hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects, let's create a new composition, I'll call it as main, animation, width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30 and duration is 30 second and background color is black, I mean white color and simply hit ok, then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Then press ctrl y on your keyboard to create one bg, so I'll call name it as bg and hit ok and let's lock this layer. Now select your text tool and type whatever text you want for the font I am going to choose Oswald font you are free to choose whatever font you want and first text I am going to type G select this text and increase the font size and for the color I am going to choose black color select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press S for scaling option and scale it like this press V and let's move this over here hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's move this over here sorry select this hit ctrl d let's move this over here press ctrl t to select text tool and type r select this text let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d press v let's move this over here and change the text hit ctrl d press v hit ctrl t let's call it as p so basically we are going to type graphics world with the help of these alphabets Okay, so our text is ready now select all of them and let's somewhere move around over here now right click new and create one null object let's select all of them and make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s and you can increase the scale of these things like this okay i think this looks good to me and now select them and simply hit delete let's select all of them and adjust it like this hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them at the top let's change the color of this one to yellow and let's move them over here like this hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them at the top and let's change color to aqua and let's move them over here like this so as you can see this S is gonna touch this line so if it's not touching then select all of them again and with the help of arrow keys let's move them over here also select them and let's move them over here like this okay now we have to create one ellipse so I'm gonna delete this stroke and for the color I'm going to choose let's say red color and simply hit ok and let's create one ellipse like this select the shape layer hit ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center press v and let's move this over here like this okay now select the shape layer press p for position let's or uh, before that what we need to do we need to select this one and this one this one this one this one this one this one and then with the help of our animation composer we have this called animation composer anchor point mover so simply select on them and make sure to click on this icon the link of this plugin is available in the description it's totally free so with the help of that all the anchor points are downwards like this okay and now select this one also and again choose any anchor point mover and move their anchor point over here we don't need to change the anchor points of this one yeah let's select this which is over here press s let's unlink this 
and let's make it 80 or let's make it 50 and create one keyframe hit page down button two times or go to the 10 frame and let's make this 91.8 again or let's go move this to five frames maybe like this select those keyframe and hit f9 or you can decrease the distance like this okay now select this let's move this over here now select the shape layer select this position right click and choose separate dimensions create one keyframe at x let's zoom in go to around 20 frames and let's move this towards edge like this let's move this over here or over here or i think we don't need to change the position of y for this one so if you see over here we will get something like this so create one keyframe at y position go over here again create one keyframe at y position and in middle of that we will change the y position somewhere around over here like this so we will get something like this and after that up to 1.10 frames we will select this and we will move this to this R over here and at this point we will select this keyframe we will hit ctrl c ctrl v so if you see we will get something like this and up to somewhere around over here i want this thing should be over here like this let's go to the start as you can see this is in the middle of this s so we need to move this in the middle of this s like this and at this point i'm going to select this ctrl c ctrl v so if you see this animation now you will get something like this but as you can see at this point the animation looks quite slow so for that what we will do we will select those keyframes by holding alt i'll drag it up to two seconds like this okay now select the y position and hit f9 go to the graph editor let's zoom in a little bit go to the start let's select this by holding shift let's move this over here and this one over here select this let's move this over here select this let's move this over here okay now at this point select this move this over here and this over here this over here and this over here and at this point again select this by holding shift let's move this over here move this over here select this move this one over here and this one over here so if you see this animation now we will get something like this okay so this animation is completed now uh, we will focus on the squeeziness so select this as as you guys can see we have one keyframe over here so select this and hit ctrl c to copy and as you can see at this point this is going to touch my edge so what i'm going to do i'll press s i'll unlink this i'm going to create one keyframe over here and hit f9 go few frame forwards and hit ctrl v so it will paste this keyframe like this uh, let's move this over here and let's select those keyframe and let's move them over here and move this over here so if you see we'll get this kind of bounciness now we will select those keyframe we will hit ctrl c and now at this point as you guys can see my ball is gonna touch this r so select this r press s and unlink this and hit ctrl v like this okay so if you see this thing we'll get this kind of animations and at this point as you can see this is gonna touch my s also so now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna at this point i'm gonna create one select this press s let's one create one keyframe at s unlink this and hit f9 go few frame forwards 
and as you can see we have this s select the initial keyframe of this s hit ctrl c select this and hit ctrl v like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now this two is gonna be my looping point so i hit n after that my animation should start repeating ourselves so this is gonna be my looping point and now hit u right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and make it apparent with this null two okay so this is simple and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press ctrl r as you can see so we will get this ruler we will select this and move this line over here so this is gonna be my marker for my looping stuff now select this null object press p for position create one keyframe over here make this fit and select this uh, and hit u and as you can see at this point i'm gonna select this and move this over here until it's gonna touch this thing so if i see this as you can see we are getting this in the form of a loop but over here we will get some difficulties so to get rid of it what we are gonna do we are gonna select all of them and we will press p for position we, we first we need to check whether there is a keyframe or not so as you can see we have one keyframe so what we are gonna do we are gonna press p for position create one keyframe and go to around six second create another keyframe on each and every one go a few frame forwards again create another keyframes like this go to the start let's select all of them and let's move them over here like this and at this point it should be over here so we will get this bouncing animation like this now select those keyframe and hit f9 so if you hit play we will get something like this now uh, let's go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here okay so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff and now uh, first thing should be appear is g so go to four frames select this move this over here eight frames select this move this over here and we will adjust it somewhere around like this alternately like this and we will hit u on this s as you can see my scaling keyframe is over here so we will shift those keyframe somewhere around over here so we'll get proper animation like this and if you think the animation is quite fast all you need to do select all the keyframes by holding alt you can or uh, you need to select each and every one and you need to by holding alt you can increase the duration of it like this okay so now if i see this i'm gonna get something like this okay so hit you now uh, i'm gonna select this and hit ctrl d and i'm going to turn this thing into red and hit page down button and at this point i'm going to select this edge i'll press ctrl shift d and i'll delete it so we'll get this red image over here and then this is gonna touch this edge so i'm gonna select this edge i'll hit ctrl shift d to duplicate i mean to trim this and go few frame forwards like this and again press ctrl shift d now select this middle one and change it to red like this then select this r press ctrl shift d go few frame forwards and again press ctrl shift d now select this middle one and then convert this into red so 
so as you can see we are getting this little bit of readiness in our scene now select this kind of object and hit u uh, and if you think that this is uh, not uh, animation the main animation is not at the center so what you can do you can create one null object again you can select this null object and you can make it a parent with this null tree select this null tree and you can move this over here so now your main animation is properly at the center and you can move it wherever you want like it's totally up to you so this is how you can create this continuous looping animation select all of them and make sure to enable this motion blur so we'll get a proper realism in our animation a little bit like this and now select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's make it uh, as main animation and hit ok hit ctrl d press s let's unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's move this over here like this press t for opacity and let's make this 50 okay so this is how you can create this kind of looping animations and you can select this you can select this rectangle and you can create one mask go to the mask and let's make it increase the feathers like this so we will get this kind of reflections also so this is how you can create this kind of looping animation in adobe after effects so that's it for the today's video we will see you in my next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned.